On this day in history, January 16th. In 1871, Jefferson Long of Georgia is sworn in as the second black congressman. In 1935, fugitive gangster Fred Barker and his mother Kate, known as Ma Barker, were killed in a shootout with the FBI in Florida. In 1547, at the age of 16, Ivan IV of Russia, commonly known as Ivan the Terrible, was crowned the first Tsar of Russia. In 1942, actress Carol Lombard, age 33, her mother, Elizabeth, and 20 other people were killed when their plane crashed near Las Vegas, Nevada, while traveling to California from a war bond promotion tour. Donnie and Marie, a musical variety show hosted by Donnie and Marie Osmond, premiered on ABC on this day in 1976. The United States Civil Service Commission was established as the Pendleton Act went into effect in 1883. The first assembly of the League of Nations was held in Paris in 1920. French King Louis XVI is sentenced to death by the National Convention during the French Revolution in 1793. In 1957, three B-52s took off from Castle Air Force Base in California. It was the first non-stop, round-the-world flight by jet planes lasting 45 hours and 19 minutes. In 1865, Union Major General William T. Sherman decreed that 400,000 acres of land in the South would be divided into 40-acre lots and given to former slaves. The order, later revoked by President Andrew Johnson, is believed to have inspired the expression, 40 acres and a mule. The novel Jaws by Peter Benchley was published by Doubleday in 1974. In 1961, Mickey Mantle signs a contract making him the highest paid baseball player in the American League at 75000 for the 1961 season. In 1920, Prohibition began in the United States as the 18th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. It took effect one year to the day after its ratification. It was later repealed by the 21st Amendment. The Medesi family is appointed official banker of the Papasi in 1412. In 1941, the U.S. War Department formed the 1st Army Air Corps Squadron for Black Cadets. Ted Cassidy, the actor who played Lurch, in the Adams family, died at 46 in 1979. Arturo Toscanini, Italian U.S. conductor, died in New York City at 89 in 1957. Happy birthday! Andre Michelin, French industrialist and tire manufacturer, was born in Paris on this day in 1853. American inventor Frank Zamboni was born in 1901. 1943, Ronnie Millsap, American singer and pianist. John Carpenter, director of Halloween, was born in Carthage, New York in 1948. Harry Carey, American actor from Mr. Smith Goes to Washington and Red River, was born January 16, 1878 in the Bronx, New York as Henry Dewitt Carey II. 1974, Kate Moss, English model and fashion designer. Baseball player Divi Dean was born in 1910. In 1900, Edith Frank, mother of Holocaust diarist Anne Frank, was born in Germany. Author Danita K. Paul created Appreciate a Dragon Day to celebrate the release of her book Dragon Spell in 2004. Dragon is actually a family term that includes other mythological creatures such as cockatrices, gargoyles, wyverns, phoenix, basilisks, hydras, and even some hybrid man-dragon creatures. The Komodo dragon is a type of monitor lizard which is aggressive and deadly. They can be 10 feet long and use toxic bacteria in their mouths to wound their prey. The word dragon comes from the Greek word drakonta, which means to watch. The Greeks saw dragons as beasts that guarded valuable items. 
In fact, many cultures depict dragons as hoarding treasure. You can find the word dragon many times in the King James Version of the Old Testament and also in the Book of Revelation in the New Testament. The Vikings were so inspired by the legend of the Midgard Serpent that they carved dragon heads into the front of their longships, which were called <coughs> or, or dragon ships. Famous dragons include Falcor from the Neverending Story, Spike from My Little Pony, Puff the Magic Dragon, Devon and Cornwall from Quest for Camelot, Mushu from Mulan, Smog from The Hobbit. Viserion and Drogon from Game of Thrones. Elliot from Pete's Dragon. Sapphira from Aragon. Draco from Dragonheart. Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Who was your favorite dragon? Some books about dragons you might like. How to Train Your Dragon by Cressidia Cowell. Puff the Magic Dragon by Peter Yarrow and Lenny Lipton. Illustrated by Eric Poibere. The Dragon Riders of Pern by Anne McCaffrey. The Summer Dragon by Todd Lockwood. The Book of Dragons by E. Nesbitt. The Natural History of Dragons by Mari Brennan. A Song of Fire and Ice series by George R. R. Martin. The Dragon and the George by Gordon R. Dixon. Dragon Slippers by Jessica Day George. Serafina by Rachel Hartman. Dragon Spell by Donita K. Paul. Aragon by Christopher Paolini. Between Planets by Robert Heinlein. The thing about dragon jokes is that they drag on way too long. What's the difference between a car and a dragon? A car has only one horn. What's the difference between a dragon and a loaf of bread? If you don't know, I'm never sending you to the store for bread. Little known fact is dragons are great pianists. They really know their scales. Why did the dragon cross the road? It was the chicken's day off. Why is it easy to work out the weight of a dragon? They come with scales. Why do dragons sleep during the day? They like to fight nights. Why do dragons hate birthday parties? It's impossible for them to blow out the candles. So one dragon asks another dragon, What would you say if I were to cut off your two front legs right now? Why, Vern? Why is it a good thing to work out on a dragon? They have scales. I'm building a dragon for Dragon Appreciation Day because dragons, and I like dragons. Because dragons.
This was the Timber Kit Dragon. And it was not easy to build. It was understandable, but not easy. It was fun. Once it got going, I didn't want to stop. Definitely, I would recommend this to anyone who likes to build stuff. Because this was interesting. <laughs> and I know my brother really likes to build stuff. So, there's people out there like that. If I was given it, I, would, I wouldn't go out and purposely buy one, but if I was given it, definitely I would uh, build another. But, yeah, it was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to click the subscribe and the like button, and definitely don't forget to hit the bell to get notifications. We'll see you next time on This Day in History with Crazy Days Crew.